Yo guys, what's going on? This is Francois Marker, favorite American expat living in Seoul, South Korea, but I am not in Seoul. I am still in Japan. I am in Kyoto. And we just checked into our apartment for the weekend kind of thing. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how our apartment looks. It's got a really good mixture, a combination between traditional Japanese architecture or interior architecture and modern architecture. So let's take a look and see what we have inside. Okay, so you can see here, this is the entrance, the ant room or the ant chamber or the foyer, as most people would say. Uh, this is where you put your shoes and yeah, you can sit down and chill and just talk while you're waiting to come into the apartment. <laughs> I don't know why you would do that, but yeah, you could. And here is the fabulous, immaculately organized kitchen. Like the Japanese really have their aesthetics for the inside of their apartments down packed. So in the last apartment where we stayed, the inside also looked really nice. I don't know if I did a video or not, but yeah, anyways. And here is the microwave, so cool. And then if you slide this door over, there's another door. And then we have our little refrigerator. It's so cute. So open up, we've already got some water, some juice, and some ice in there. So close this door up and let's turn around. Now we're going to the inside of the living area. You can see it's a little disorganized because we're both content creators, my friend and I, there's Heinz, and we have just a lot of like cameras and technology and stuff everywhere. So yeah, you can see our uh, vlogging camera here, batteries, Listerine, goes with content creating because you gotta keep your breath nice. Got the A64 over there, Heinz is working on some content. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so here, tons of camera equipment and there's a lens right there. You see it? Mm. So there's a television, or excuse me, the telephone. Here's a television we're watching a Korean drama because we always <laughs> have to stay connected to, to our, our home. And we haven't gone outside. I don't think we can go out here. Oh well, yeah, we can. So if we open this up, there's like a little area out here where you can go out and chill. There are a lot of mosquitoes, so I don't want to go outside, but yeah, you get the point. You go out here and just like smoke a cigarette or something. If you smoke, I don't smoke, so yeah. And the air conditioner is blowing. Just really nice. Look at this wall design. Architecture is so cool in here. Or the interior design rather. And here is the restroom or the washroom rather. So. In Japan, they have one separate area for washing and the other separate area for uh, you know, relieving yourself. So here, the room comes with some cups, body towels, some soap, uh, nice sink, nice mirror, nicely lit. You can actually use these lights for making YouTube videos. <laughs> um, towels, here is the laundry machine, super cool. And here is the bath. So it's a little bright in here, there we go. So this bathtub is not so long, but it's very deep. It's a very deep bathtub. And you can set the temperature here. If you can understand Japanese, you might need to use your Google translator on your phone, but yeah. You can set the temperature and things here, and it comes with some wash, soap, shampoo, conditioner, I'm bald, so many people think I don't need shampoo, but I do, because shampoo doesn't just wash hair, it actually washes skin. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and this shower head is really cool. So Heinz just took a shower, and he said that not only does the water come from here, it just comes straight down from here. So it was kind of like a waterfall falling over him as he took a shower. But yeah, this is the this is the washroom area. And let's turn it 
turn off the lights as we are leaving because we don't want to waste electricity. And now I want to show you this part of the table. I didn't show you before. It's really dark. Let's turn off the light. Okay, here we go. So if you look down, you can see Heinz is, well, there we go. Five uh, bucks. <laughs> Heinz is feet right there. <laughs> so Heinz wanted to, actually Heinz wanted to fill this area with water because there was a fan right there. You can see here there's a fan and he says, if we fill the area with water, we can make kind of like a, a whirlpool. I didn't think that was a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we should be putting water with electricity, so. Okay, so now we have to go up the stairs all the way up. And this is one of the things about Japan interior design that I haven't gotten used to. It's the stairs are very narrow. So you have to be extremely careful when you're walking up. I don't know if this is because Japanese people have a tendency to be born with smaller feet or like what's the deal, but it's not very safe for Westerners, I don't think, if you're not used to it. So obviously if you, you know, get used to it, then it will be easier to walk up. So let's go. Make sure you use the hand roll that has been provided for us. Okay. So here is one of the bedrooms. So this room is actually, or this house is supposed to be for four people, but there are only two, Heinz and I. So this house has two rooms. So Heinz will have one room and I'll have another room. So here is the bed. Semi-Japanese style. It's on the floor, but it's raised. It's not completely on the floor. And when you come to Japan, you must bring your adapters or converters because we forgot ours in Korea and it wasn't difficult to find any, but it can be a hassle if you're not familiar with the area or familiar with Japanese in general. So here is the remote control or the air conditioner. I don't know any Japanese, so I just see on off. I press that and I leave it alone. So if you want to spend more time <laughs> trying to figure out how to use it, then be my guest. And here's a little closet space and another air conditioner. So the air conditioner was on when we came. So this room was very cool inside, but this room, I don't know why this light stays on. Uh, this room here is my room. The air conditioner was not on and it was steaming hot. <laughs> you hear Heinz laughing. It was like a sauna in here. Uh, I'm not like hot weather, so I decided to take this room. And it's nothing against the, uh, I guess, the owners of the hotel or the house or anything like that. It's not a problem. It was just, it was really hot in here. So, um, yeah, it might be a shock for people. But you just open the door and turn on the air conditioner. There are air conditioners everywhere, so it's not like a big deal. But it was just something of note. And I love this little light. So later I'm gonna take some photos uh, in this apartment house area before we head out for dinner and also tomorrow after breakfast. So yeah, this is another closet area. I'm loving this, this house. Like I, I'm really enjoying my life in Korea. I love living in Korea so much, but I've been in Korea for years and I couldn't do any traveling during the COVID pandemic or epidemic, whatever you want to have. So I amassed a lot of camera equipment and a lot of like things just to make my life more comfortable in Korea. And during that time, I forgot about international travel. I'm an ardent traveler. I love traveling internationally, uh, domestically, uh, anywhere. I really love traveling. And like during COVID, I couldn't travel, so I forgot about my feelings of travel. But now that I'm doing international travel again, my thinking has changed a lot. I was just telling Heinz, like when we went to the airport, uh, as soon as we passed through customs, 
my feelings changed about just being in Korea in general. And it's not like I'm leaving or anything like that, but I do a lot of traveling in Korea. I'm gonna start doing more international travel again, being that I have time and I have the resources. Thankfully, I have the resources. So see me taking my dear sweet time coming down the stairs because I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> but yeah, I'm digging this kitchen. This is probably my favorite part of the apartment. The kitchen is so well organized. It's just, yeah, I love it. This room is so cool. Uh, Heinz, what was the price of this apartment? Uh, I believe it was 132,000 Korean won. So how much is that in dollars? Like a hundred and... I'm not sure, like maybe 110. dollars Between two people, that's not bad. Yeah, this place is meant for like four people. Right, right. I was telling them early, yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so... We got a really good deal. I think so. Yeah, so Heinz actually found this place, so... I always find all the good stuff. He does. He found our other apartment, too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna... Um, well, I'm gonna sign out. Wow, look how wide this lens is. It's super wide. Is that 14? 14 millimeter. Yeah, super wide. So yeah, I'm gonna sign out. We're gonna do a little bit of content creating, rest up a while because we walked so many places today and we're a bit hungry. So we're gonna do some content creating and we're gonna go look for some dinner. And yeah, come back and talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot for joining me in our Kyoto apartment tour. And I hope to see you soon in the next video. Take care. I love you guys. Stay hydrated. Peace.